You comfortable with that camera? Do you need to make any adjustments for yourself? No, it's okay. Finally, it's time to do some smaller scale sets. Nothing too big. I gotta go small, man. I'm building too much, too many big things. And there's some big surprises too, here and there. Maybe to you, maybe not, who knows. Anyway, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Freak Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, how are you watching? Beamus, where we don't like what I do, you can suck my bricks. My boy Chris is back. What's up, Chris? Hello, everyone. Oh, I love the sound of that. So that means we're going to pow out more videos for you as fast as we can. There's a lot of stuff to go through and more live streams in the near future and just more love, man. Thank you so much for supporting me and my channel and my store. BreakMeUpScotty.com. A lot of you guys from Europe are showing up all of a sudden. That's cool, man. We can handle you. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, today we're looking at this again. If you're not familiar with this, go watch my old video, which is from these guys. These are the old ones here that we saw before. We have seen these, all right? These are still available. These are super, super fun. You guys got to get them while you can. If you're a fan of like diorama sets, go watch my other video anyway. I go into them pretty deep. And the cool thing is they have a bunch of sets. Not only the ones I have on my store, they have a bunch that you can buy elsewhere. If you guys want me to put them on the store, I certainly can. Let me just show you some here in the screenshot. There's like a flower one. There's like a chapter A and there's a chapter B that we have reviewed already. The new ones that you see are based on artists paintings. You know, it happened with the Lego Starry Night. Ever since they did the Starry Night from Lego Ideas that was kind of stolen by, I think it was DK. DK the brand did the Lego Idea version and then Lego finally released their Starry Night. Then all of a sudden, there's like all these painting style sets that are available. And now what Area X has done is they made like scaled down diorama sets of them. So you not only have Starry Night, but you have like Van Gogh. And you know what? Let me just roll the intro and let you guys know what we're gonna look at today. Today, we're gonna look at a set of four brand new from Area X, which is also known as Symbol Block. And these are inspiration from art. You have Van Gogh, Da Vinci, Mondrian, I don't know if I'm saying that right, and Dali. They do not specify how many pieces there are, but I believe that these are one of the best little diorama sets I have built because they're just like super fun. Each one is totally different from one another. They look absolutely amazing. And if you're onto the whole artist art world stuff, this is totally for you. I'm actually not familiar with too much art, but once I built like specific parts, I was like, oh, it's this guy. Oh yeah, now I remember him. And if you didn't watch, go watch my live stream. I actually built the Van the Van Gogh one. And that was actually the longest one. All the other ones were like super fast to do. So whoever suggested I do Van Gogh, damn you, man. The other ones were way faster. Let's just start with Van Gogh first because we already kind of know that this will be really fast. I got to warm up, man. So this is the box for Van Gogh. I've shown you the box before because I opened it and I threw my one away. But this is a brand new one that's ready to go to whoever is going to order it from me. You have the side there of what the set looks like. Very well presented, but it comes with the acrylic case and it comes with all the pieces on one side. I actually prefer the old, older one that we did before because one, it was a lot smaller and they put all the set inside the box so you can actually get in there and it's easier to ship with an original box. Whereas this one is, they put the acrylic on one side and they put all the sets on the other side and it's like, ah, uh, the box is, we can send the box, but if you're gonna order four of these, it backs up, it gets pretty heavy. I wouldn't recommend the box. You don't need the box. Just I'll squish it down and make it lighter and cheaper for you for shipping. So there you go. Okay, this is Starry Night. Before we look at it, all the manuals are like that. And a reminder again that these are like a sub brand of symbol block. So when you read the instructions, they are symbol block style. There's a page for you. What I don't like about symbol block instructions is they highlight the pieces you're supposed to put on in red. That red kind of blends in with the color. And I remember when I was doing it live, man, the back wall was a pain in the butt because all the blues, I couldn't tell what color I was using. It doesn't matter. It's a small set. I, I'm sure you can figure it out. And they do have figures, tisk tisk figures. The closest thing that they're getting away with is the figures for sure. You also get this little card. It's a nice little card, right? Look, Van Gogh. This is just like, a missing piece thing. They're, they're getting like all elaborate now. So if you have a missing piece, you have to use this code to prove that you have the set and 
you can get your missing piece. So of course, we do that for you. So you don't have to worry about it if you order from our store. Don't be like, hey, Scotty, I'm missing this piece. Oh, you didn't order it from us? You're out of luck, man, because they're getting more serious. You need to be legit with how you get your pieces. Anyway, same size acrylic box as we've seen for all the other sets. It's very hard to see inside because it's so reflective there. But just to show you very quickly, if I spin this around, there, there, it's very nicely enclosed. So I'm not gonna waste time on this part. We wanna see the detail. So you take this thing off, and you're supposed to build a set like inside on the box. But I usually build mine on the outside and then slot it in, but it gets really loose. So I can actually just take it out because it's nice and loose. If I go like that and go like this, there you go. There's your little baby diorama of Van Gogh. I like the colors. I like the style that they fit a lot. The majority of this build though is that back wall. It gets a little crazy. Once you get that done, everything else should be pretty fast. And I, again, you can see it all on my live stream, like all detailed and putting the pieces together, trying to figure out the blues. I get the, I got the, so many of the blues probably mixed up. Okay, let's talk about this back wall. What I do like about it is that it's got that kind of the wavy look to it. And by the way, there are absolutely zero stickers on this, any of these sets. They're all printed, which is great. So all the patterns that you see, like the cloud, the swirling cloud of the print, which looks really cool, by the way. Got a whip and just the overall look, the moon, the stars, they look really good. And the bottom piece is like a wave that's kind of going through. It's fun to put it together. It was just trying to get the right color, man. Okay, here's a nice shot without the guy sitting in the set, just to show you. On the bottom left here, you got this dead looking field. Looks dead to me, man. But you do have this little like pathway and there's a little palette down there with some paint on it. You got this painting of the starry night. It's inception, yo. It's a painting within a painting. Interesting, but I like it. And next to the painting, you got what looks like Naruto's hat. No, I'm just kidding. I like that hat though. That's the hat that the guy wears sometimes in a painting, right? Duh, Scotty. You gotta know your stuff. And you got this, the tree. I guess that's a tree going up. That's how, how much I know about this art world. What is it, like a little mountain on the right here with the orange on it? That's probably the only thing like color-wise, maybe a little bit much with the bright orange. I would like to have seen it toned down a little bit more, darker look. It's different from the other Starry Nights, which is good. So you got the guy that Van Gogh paints and the figures look amazing, by the way. They have prints on both sides of their bodies. They may or may not have double-sided heads. The printing on this guy is really good. It looks just like what you see in the paintings. And then you got, I guess, Van Gogh, who's painting here. He's got paint splattered all over him on the front and the back. He also has a double-sided head, and he's just kind of working on a painting right there. So, you know, overall, it's like tiny with small, but it packs a lot of little detail. The great thing about these little diorama sets is you can either just put them on your desk or if you have like an art museum mock or like a building or something and you want to stick in a section, you can make your own artist section with these, you know? And hey, like I said, printed pieces. Chris, printed pieces, man. No stickers. I love it. So there you go. That is Van Gogh. Which one is next? I'm going all out of order, by the way. I'm going to ask Chris this time, but which one should I do next? Which one do you look interesting to you or less interesting? Elephant. Elephant. <laughs> Elephant one. There you go, there's the artwork for Dolly. I don't know anything about Dolly at all, except I do recognize the figures and I recognize some of the items. So there you go, come with two figures again. Look, the apple guy, the apple on his face. We all know that, right? There's a look on the side. The box and the presentation, oh yeah, for sure is really good. And this is the box that I had built it in, which I saved. You look on the inside there, so it's divided into two. So the acrylic box comes on this side here and then protect it with the foam. Like that, and the other side is all the bags. So yeah, if you wanted to, if you want the box, you can certainly order the box, but you're gonna have a really big box being sent to you. And you can buy these all individually. You don't have to buy them all as one set. The manual is the same. There's the card, it's originally supposed to be like that. Chris can tell you. Chris, it just says for, oh, you can't even see it there, yeah. If you're missing pieces, that kind of thing, yeah. Instruction. Yeah, so you need the code, all that kind of good stuff, see? Legit, yo. There's the manual again. There. Easy. Okay, 
Chris is like elephant. Elephant, pretty. Box design, pretty. I forgot to tell you like, oh yeah, these parts are all printed. They look really nice, man. I like the look of that. So there you go. That's what it looks like inside the acrylic case. Once again, each color for each set is totally different from one another. So I like that look. If I spin it and rotate it for you there. Whee! I like the acrylic case, but there's so much detail inside. It kind of feels like messy at the same time. Simple back wall, thank goodness. That was easy to put together. Now, the elephant is really fragile. That's the only thing downside about this one. I'm gonna try to put the acrylic case on. You gotta make sure you gotta squeeze all the guys in there just right. Take them out of here. Maybe I'll take this, remove this from the frame too. There you go. Ah, look at that. There's so much stuff going on. This one I actually really like. Which one is my favorite? I'll save my favorite for the last because it's like really, really good. But this one was pretty damn outstanding too. Once again, printed pieces. Look at the back wall there. It's crazy, right? Lots of chrome pieces being used in this one. I love the floating characters. It just looks like really abstract. I guess that's what Dolly is, right? I recognize the elephant and I recognize the clock in the back. That's the only three things I recognize. And the, and the apple guy, that apple dude. So if I take the elephant off like this, what makes the elephant fragile? Yeah, see the legs stayed on there. There you go. So you can just kind of fall apart easily. So I'll move them out of the way first. And now you can like really see how nice it looks there. I think that's really good. Look at that. Everything looks like it's kind of falling, right? The guy, that melting clock, the hour hand, the minute hand is all movable. You got some cats falling everywhere, a lobster on an old school telephone. We'll start with the back wall first. I like the eyes. They almost look like sticker, man. I'm like, is that a sticker? No, those are all prints. And the clock, there's so many small, like one by one tiles that's like all printed as well. And you have to line it up like a puzzle. I love that melting clock and the fact that you can move the hands. And the telephone, the telephone's really dope. It's like old school telephone, the lobster on top. But the telephone was like, oh, that's pretty, like I like how they made that vintage phone. Very cool indeed. And you got this table here and it looks like the tea has been spilt along the floor and you got a couple kitty cats there, rail pieces along the front. So nice design, nice color. I really like this one a lot. Looks, look at the figure. We'll look at the Apple guy first. I know I'm gonna get blasted for not knowing the names of these. I'm not an artist, man. But he looks amazing with the bowl cap and the printed apple on the face. This is the only one I've seen that's like this in the world. So if you wanna get this guy, you gotta get the set. But he does have a double face. He has a normal face on the other side that looks a little bit worried. Then you got, I guess that's Dolly, man. I'm gonna get messed up for this too. Dude, I like his mustache. It goes all the way up to his, to his eyebrows. Oh, he does not have a double face. So yeah, some of these guys have double faces. Some of them don't. Other than that, you just got a chair that's floating up there. You can probably put a figure up in the chair there. And let's look at this elephant. So the elephant was a little frustrating and fragile to put together. The neck can pop off, the leg can pop off pretty easy. And even the side bodies, because there's not much clutch to hold it in place. If I hold it here and like walk him around or like move his joints, he's okay. But trying to get him into the set is a different story. Like trying to fit him in there, make sure he doesn't fall over. You know, just got to be careful for that. But I like the overall look and design. His tusk, the horn. And what is this, this robot? Is it a robot on top of this? Is it a robot? Chris, don't you know anything about Dolly, man? Come on, you should be an artist. You're a photographer, man. Do you know this artwork? Do I, should I Google like what this elephant is? Let's just have some fun right now while I'm here. Guy looks so stupid anyway. Oh, there we go, Chris. That's gotta be it. There's a guy, gold guy blowing on the trumpet. Oh, sure. I don't know. Right, so we compare Dolly's the two. Is artwork or famous? Dolly should be famous, man. What's this? You're gonna be in trouble now with the fans being, you don't know who Dolly is? Let me see. Oh yeah, that is Dolly. He's got the mustache too, man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah this, so the clock, you know for sure, right? The melting clock. Yes, yes. So that's the melting clock here, oh. right? But anyway, there you go. Very cool set. Now you gotta put the freaking elephant back in here on the studs without it falling, which he will definitely fall over. And then you gotta be careful for his trunk won't hit the acrylic frame and push it in the center the figures are falling off because underneath each set 
it's like two plates, so it has to fit evenly on here. Let's see, oh, it's so far so good, there you go. So now we're looking at Mondrian. I like how the bottom here, they have start from here, where they put art inside start. I like how each box is totally different. Nice design, they, they, they whoever's doing this man is actually putting some effort and knows the artist well enough to do this kind of thing. Cristino Mondrian, do you know this guy's artwork? I don't know him anyway, same style of the box there. Leah, my daughter, took the box and cut this off. I'm like, why are you cutting my box? I need a box for this video. There you go anyway, we don't need to see that. Okay, there's the card for you, close up, same deal. I like the artwork on it. And here's the instructions, nice and blue. I like the set because it's so blue. It's blue inside. Looks fine. This one was the fastest one for me to put together. This one literally took me like less than an hour, I think, to, to do it. It was like that quick. Once again, with the acrylic case on, it's a little bit like messy because it's hard to see in there. You want to get your hands in there. So I'll just show you each side like that. Like that. It's just very 90s looking. Is, it, is this guy not too long? I don't know. I should do my history before doing any of the stuff. Script man. I did like the bricks. Diorama. If I like it, I'm just going to get it. So these ones are all mine and I'll probably display these. Probably. They were good. Let me know if I should get the other Area X ones for fun. But they are a little bit pricier. Because they put a lot of work into this man. You guys wanted like high quality stuff. That's not Big L. There you go. I guess that's a Mondrian doing a painting. Wait, which is it the guy or the girl? There's a girl in here too painting. There's two painters in here. <laughs> Let me just be clear because I have no idea who is Mondrian. Mandalorian. Okay, it's a guy. I don't know who the girl is. Well, there's a girl here on Google that's like holding the painting up like that. Oh look, that is the same painting. Oh, expensive. Oh, I remember this painting, right? Yeah. So expensive, right? Oh, this is like not even in the house, like the 90s. This is like 1870, 1900, oh, 1906, man. He was way ahead of his time, man. Oh, he died in 1944. Damn. Oh, that's what I thought. Okay. So hey, it still has that 90s vibe to me. Let's take this off the acrylic bottom piece there so you can see it a lot better. There you go, if I were to hold it up and go like that. Look at that. This one is like the most busiest looking one, but it's got a lot of space inside, which I like. Yo, there's just like a lot of detail here. See, man, if you're an artist fan, you gotta get this. You gotta get it. But the back two, the walls are just shaped like that. I like the pattern here, it's pretty crazy. Let's look at this desk in the back corner here. Look at all those paintbrushes. You know what's good, Chris? The paintbrushes don't look like dildos this time. They look like real paintbrushes. They have more detail in the colors of the tips, different colors. I like the desk. It's got a lot of paint effect look on it inside the paint bottles, I guess. Bucket there and a little micro figure in the corner. Look how many prints you get. One, two, three, four, five, six printed pieces. You got the windmill on the floor. You got this flower being painted and you got the ones along the wall. I'm pretty sure like those are his original artworks. And you got the famous one on this back wall. And I like on the bottom, it looks like it's like right here. It looks like it's dripping the paint. I don't know if that's for real or not. Oh, yeah, maybe. Like wet paint, right? Yeah, yeah, it's dripping yeah. on the bottom. You can see the paint on oh, the bottom. Yeah. So that's why I like really messy looking. It's like really good, man. The artwork on this thing. Like that's why whoever like came up with this idea really knew their, their, their shit, man. So I like the artwork there. This is more my style, edgy looking. You got a stand right there with the flower and you got Mondrian there, I guess. And he looks perfectly fine. Again, here it's got blue paint splattered all over him. There's a nice touch with attention to detail. And it looks like he's working on this big sculpture. And I like his paint roller using that piece. So he's painting this piece. Very cool. And you got this lady. Sorry, lady, I don't know who you are, but she's holding a palette there and she's got glasses on and she's just getting ready to paint. I like the detail on her. And even her outfit is like Mondrian's design. Must be his wife, man. But there you go. And this one is pretty secure. Only the paintbrushes will fall off everywhere. We'll put this all back together here. So which one, which one do you guys like so far? What's everyone's favorites? Guess what? Last but not least is my favorite one. You ready for this? So the last one we're looking at now is Da Vinci. 
And there you go. I like the cartoony artwork. This one is by far my favorite and I'll show you why. It was also the most tedious one because the bottom of the plate or the floor is all a lot of one by one tile. But once you get that done, everything's like super, super fun. This one is number five. Inspiration box five. And there you go. All right, let's have some fun. Let me show you the card. We all know Da Vinci, right? Da Vinci Code. Kind of want to go rewatch that movie again. You like that movie? I kind of remember I liked it, but not that much. It was kind of weird, but it's so long. It's a long. It's like, but I wonder how it is now. Yeah. Is it better now? Now that we're like older, maybe I might go back and watch Da Vinci. Anyway, there you go. You get the card like that. There's Da Vinci, and same kind of booklet, like some brown instructions, and here's an example of all those one by one tiles on the floor. Okay, and here it is in this beautiful case. And let me just show you here. It looks very clustered, okay? I know it looks really clustered like this. And here on the side, the back. I like the back here, look, look at that. It's like a stained glass window look from the other side. But I'm pretty sure I got some of the wrong colors the wrong way there, because I was like, what? I need more green, but I have no more green. And you have some brick look here let me take out this acrylic case this is this one's so so good slowly don't break it scotty i'm about to come off uh one thing i noticed too is that there are some new brick elements that you i'll let that be a surprise to you but you might see it here and i was like oh whoa new bricks i've never seen before that was a lot of fun to see that they're getting serious with their bricks okay it's here there you go Da Vinci's room. Look at look at all that, man. It looks like Harry Potter, medieval. So much stuff going on. You got Da Vinci down there, and you got this guy with a trying to hang on to this the glider thing, man. It's pretty nuts, all right. I don't know where to start. Let's start on this back wall. It's gonna be really clustered looking, unless I move things around. We got that stained glass window, which looks amazing with the light hitting through it. You got this crazy staircase, which. It was a little finicky to put together, but it lined up pretty easily. And I like how it's going up to the second floor. You got a balcony there and you got really beautiful printed tiles like that one there with body, Da Vinci's work. The balcony is a little bit loose. If you push down on it, it will fall down. That's the only issue with this set. Underneath the staircase is a barrel with a gold frog. And there's actually even more painting like printed tiles, like a little table there, the, the back of the mug. It's a very recognizable tile. They got Mona Lisa there on the floor, and there's more like little artwork that have fallen on the floor, kind of give it that messy look. Let me take this guy off. It's got like this bird or the airplane, and it's mounted into the back wall, but you can actually pull it off if I were to like, I was on a ball joint, if I take it off there, you can get a lot better idea of how cool this looks, man. This looks like a medieval castle. I think that's why I like it. And on this back wall, you've got more of his designs of him designing the, the, the flying thing, flying machine. You got some torches along the wall and I like the castle look. Magnifying glass on this desk. Nice shiny chrome helmet. And another little printed piece on that table. You got Da Vinci himself with a nice beard. I like his outfit and his paintbrush. And let's look at this winged thing which is actually kind of crazy looking, but I really like it. Like, I'm like, well, I don't know what I'm doing, but hey, this is a lot of fun to do. And it has a guy hanging off of it. Do we know who he is? Experts, you let me know. I like his helmet. His face is kind of dirty from having too much fun. Printed on both sides. I like his tool belt, which is really good. And he also has a hairpiece, which Chris will show you next to him. So if you don't want the helmet on him, you can certainly just use the hairpiece. Who is this guy? And there you go. That's why I like it so much. A lot of detail, a lot of like action thing going on. It's probably the most stable one, except for the balcony. You can see I'm shaking this thing around. Nothing's moving. And that's my friends. It's Da Vinci. Put Da Vinci back here. Okay, so that's all for super fun. If you break out your 32 by 32 plates, just to give you an idea for one of them, you're all gonna be kind of like separate. Oh no, the statue's gonna fall over a mandarin. It runs around 14 by 14 by 14 estimate around there. You can certainly, I think you can actually put them all four. Yeah, you totally can. 
So if you don't want to build them on the acrylic case and you wanted to like directly put them on a plate, you certainly can put them all there. To break out your one by four bricks, let's check the height. Here's my bricks. If I stack them up here with the case, all right? It's just a little bit over 13 bricks in height with the acrylic. It'll be a little bit lower without it, but you know, for sure. These are great little set pieces to put and decorate in your area. If you're a fan of artist, artistic stuff, this is totally for you. I'm so happy they're doing this. So there you guys go, Area X artist diorama or artist, famous artist, whatever you want to call them. They are all available now on my store, pickupscotty.com. Get them while you can. Don't know how long these will last for. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I shall be back with more. Until next time, you guys, pick me up. Pew.